Want to know the latest and hottest music hidden in the airwaves? Don't be left out. Listen to the Golden State Media Concepts Music Podcast. Jordan and Keith keeps you on the loop with everything you need to know. Jordan <laughs> and Keith. From pop, rock, hip-hop, and the top 40. And we'll throw in news of your favorite artists, concert and tour dates, and so much more. Listen no further, because this is the gold standard in music podcast. Ready to start it all over again with a new Golden State Media Concepts music podcast. This is a revamp, reboot. We're doing it all. Hey, everybody. This is Jordan. I'm Mariano. I'm Keith. Captain and Keith. here we are with the Golden State Media Concepts. Um, this day, we're going to be reviewing Fits in the Tantrum self-titled album. Yes. Coincidentally, it's called Fits in the Tantrum. <laughs> Thank Along you. with that, we also <laughs> have... The fantastic, lovely, always a pleasure, Odyssey's the mixtape. Well, the odd, it's not a mixtape, but okay. But the yeah. odd tape. The yes. odd tape. Sorry. Yes, there you go. I, I sound like a dad. Like, oh, you know, listen to it on your Game Boy. Listen and- to my boy's record. <laughs> I Boy. hear you. Yeah. Right on. So, shall we... Uh, you guys want to start off with... with Fitz? Uh, Fitz I'm thinking Fitz in the Tantrum. You yeah. were out of my It was more than just a dream. Okay, ooh, so... Ooh. I guess what, what what Keith's trying to say and what I'm agreeing with is this album's fun. Nights. Yes. This album was a lot of fun. Yes. Um, it We just reviewed the avalanches, and I guess we can kind of compare them as far as that <laughs> high energy. They both had like a high energy to me. Separate world. Leave yeah, Mariano separate alone, world. man. Leave Mariano alone. No, no I, you just cringed. <laughs> Heavy-handed much? Heavy-handed, Pers- Jordan? <laughs> personally, to me, I felt like uh, Wildflower had a lot of um, high energy. And Dude. I don't want to make this about last episode, but I think what was really cool with Fits in the Tantrums was uh-huh. it also had something that felt very um, high spirit, something danceable, um, just really a fun track that – was accessible uh, more than just one occasion. But it felt like something that was uh, very optimistic. It was fun. I enjoyed the album, too. I think it was a little bit more poppy than I was expecting. Definitely. I the thought, last record had a, had a little bit more soul to it. I know? thought that I was really surprised by that as well. It did yeah. feel very poppy. It felt like something yeah. that... Um, it felt like Fits in the Tantrums was more top 40 uh, this yeah, time around. Yeah, which is but fine. It, was, mean, it wasn't and, a necessarily leaning, a bad thing. Well, they were leaning that way anyway. We, we started doing our Seinfeld. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't necessarily um, – not, not, yeah. nothing wrong on their part. I think it's just yeah. the evolution of the band. And yeah. um, it's, it's not a bad direction they're going. No, they were leaning that way anyway. I yeah, think. I, I agree with fine. you. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's – so the, there was just one song that I, I just don't like at all. Which song Just was it? Because we might roll be up. agreeing. Really? Like Trump, yeah, track four with the, with that. I don't know what that. If that's a toy flute keyboard sound, or it just bothers me. It just makes me angry. But the rest of the album I enjoyed. Uh, uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to say that I didn't necessarily didn't like it, but I guess I didn't like it because I that one didn't stick to me. I, I'm a little oh, bit like really, uh, I have I'll to skip it way. when it comes on, dude. I skip it. I yeah. Just, I didn't like it at all. Just. Makes me mad, but I enjoyed the album. <laughs> oh God, well, Mariotto, what did you think about it? I think it's crazy that you can compare this to the other album because this one is actually good. I like this. Album. <laughs> Bam! You guys, all right, it's a different episode. We can't talk about the uh, wildflower. Change the subject. We're, 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 oh, now you want to change the subject? Whoa. You ain't right, Jordan. You ain't right. All right, we'll correct. <laughs> Fits of the Tantrums, uh-huh. that, that was a very good album. I, yeah, I, um, it's a good pop album. It's a good pop record. I, 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 I didn't know what to expect. Um, you heard the other stuff though, right? Some of it, but it didn't sound like oh, this. More than just a dream is the jam, bro. You were out of my league. Oh yeah, I love that song. Right when you started singing oh, yeah, it, right now, I was like, "Yeah, that's the jam." But so yeah, it's a good record. This album I like. I like the song um, "Complicated." Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah, and Fitz gets a little dirty with the language too on it. If you if you pay attention, hey, that's oh, okay. Yeah. That's okay. You know, yeah, Fitz got a little. You know, he got a little. Complicated yeah, he, he was a lot issues. of fun. Yeah, right. hand clap. Yeah, I mean, like the album, the first three tracks are just just banging. You know, he just hand clap was just like I I know I'm gonna if I go out somewhere like a bar I know I'm. These are like <laughs> you know when we listen to like Les Claypool, uh-huh. you know this is a good album, but you know when you go out to for a drink or something, if you go out to a club, uh-huh. you're not going to hear Les Claypool as fun as it is. This was something that was accessible enough to people. Oh, but you might, yeah, you're going to hear hand clap probably. Yeah, you're going to hear hand clap. Yeah. I thought you were about to argue with me, like no, I've been, I was at a club, I heard that Les Claypool the other day. <laughs> you might like <laughs> he's prevalent. I've been known. I've been known <laughs> you might no. like in Hollywood. <laughs> huh? Yeah. But, but no, this is, yeah, it's a good record though. It's it's, it's a diff- the, the record cover is interesting with the hand and the different colors. Yeah, I don't yeah know what's the fingers. Going on with all that, but yeah, yeah. But you know, it's yeah, it's a good pop record. And, see, and it's interesting because they're on Danger Bird Records. That's an indie label. 
but they got picked up by Electra, so it's like the best of both worlds for, the, for best of both worlds for them at this at this time. Do you think that explains where this uh, big change in sound came from? Or sure, well, I mean, but like I said, they were kind of always headed in that direction anyway, to an extent. Like I said, my only complaint about this record is that I missed some of the soulful stuff that they were doing, like on the last record. But I do like this record. You, you, you know what? It's this record, and like when we talked about. Uh, magic and primary colors you know it's just reminding me that you can still make good pop music in America because pop music a lot of times in America gets a bad stigma no yeah you know? I think a lot of people view it as shallow a lot of yeah, times but yeah. really what I've been seeing lately and I, I'm going to say mm-hmm. even with things like Taylor Swift's album yeah um, it it doesn't feel as shallow it doesn't feel like um, the I songs agree. don't feel as forgettable to me lately right which is something that's, that's really good. interesting so I'm excited so, so I agree if, yeah so if some way the American music industry has decided they're going to improve pop music. Then, hey, I'm not going to stop them. I feel like I'm not going to get it. in your way. <laughs> so more power to them. I agree it's to that, though. Pop has been getting a little more, a little less generic, and therefore a little better. Yeah, I think so that's it, a good I, thing. I think that's it's a good more, sign. I think it's becoming more approachable to uh, all walks of life. Even people that you know really just kind of disavowed top forty for the sake of it being top forty and what it represents. I agree. Troy. A lot of people right. they're more into that niche kind of category, but this yeah. is. As yeah. we're going on with Fits in the Tantrums, I see a lot of people that would never have listened to something that was top 40, but now as these things come up, I know a lot of people that are going to want to love uh, Fits yeah. in the Tantrums. It's- yeah, and I guess apparently Adam, Adam Levine helped them get their deal. Apparently. Really? Yeah, from Maroon 5. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah, it's a, it's a good record. When I first heard, when I bought the record and heard it, I wasn't feeling it. But once again, we've had this, this, this conversation before. You know, you got to spend time on stuff, man. And second and third time, it just started clicking. And now I wound up listening to it more and more before today. It clicked for me on the second song. You know, I, I liked really, it. Really, me too. It, okay. And that's the thing that I always – when I say you know, like that difference in the pop music, I think that's where it came from where uh-huh. it does click so quickly because right when you listen to a song on the radio after 20 times, you've hated it, then you've loved it, and then you hated it again. Uh-huh. This one, you, it go, you skip a step. You skip that middle man and you go right to loving it. So. Oh yeah, so for me, yeah, for me. It, well, you know, and I was guilty of, I was guilty of, still, I still have their last album back in my head, and I was comparing it to that, which, I, which you can do, but which the same is understandable, time you, yeah, right, I mean, but you oh, gotta be careful at the same time because it's supposed to be something different. A lot of artists, I yeah. mean, uh, that's a totally acceptable thing to do, right. but you're right that with the direction that they've changed in it, it's, it's nearly impossible to really kind of. You know, draw any conclusions based on you know correlation. Exactly, because it still stands on its own. Yeah, and it does. But it does I, very I, there, well. there are good... some remnants of the other one. But yeah, it's yeah. um they they've went in this direction that wasn't a bad direction to go in. I think that's oh yeah. Throw it in on it. Run it. Get right back. Yeah. A run place in for those us. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I like all that. Yeah, and of course, like I said, you know, hand clap, a complicated burn it down. Yeah, yeah. My biggest complaint is that roll up. They can. Mm. Otherwise, I like it. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to listen to that on our, in between our break here. That, yeah. That's I'm, I'm interested to see that that certain you know a few seconds. Just we're talking the intro about. just gets it just grinds me, man. It just makes me oh, just mm, yeah. True I'm grind. Done. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll stop. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how but, how would you guys rate this? I mean, I, I'd say uh, I'd give uh, it. A, I know. I, I'd give it like mm-hmm. a seven point five. I'd give it an eight. This is okay. I mean, this Which is one um, is it? <laughs> You know, towards eight to seven point five. You know, I in the, in that little You're area. Have to pick one. You're like have seven, to pick one. Seven point seven five. Um, yeah, that sounds good to me. Seven point seven five. Oh my! I'm gonna give it like a six point seven five. Six point. Yep. It, okay. it had energy, and that was really good. And it it was actually musically inclined, and that was really good. Um, it. You but I'm gonna give it a seven now. But it uh, it lacked something that that would make it stand out from other like poppy albums to me. Well, like I said, I mean, it, it wasn't as soulful as their other stuff. I mean, they seemed to focus a little bit more on the pop aspect, and they did a good job with it. And, you know, it because of Fits in the Tantrums having that, you know, soulful last album uh-huh. and this one coming in with this more poppy tone, uh-huh. I think um, what's really done it for me, what I'm excited about is that I didn't compare it to a pop like other pop albums, and I didn't necessarily compare it to a Fits in the, you know, the last mm-hmm. album of Fits. So. I just had this middle where I was expecting nothing from it by this first song. Like I realized or by the second song, you know, okay, they're going in a different direction uh-huh. entirely. And um, it kind of allowed me to really appreciate it more. I I, I don't hold it off as a, as a bad pop album or I don't hold it off as a, 
of Bad Fits and the Tantrums album, I feel like this stands on its own, and it's going to be just as it was just as listenable to me as the first one. Okay, right on. So yours was a what six? What, what, what your rating? Uh, you know what? Let's make that a seven. A seven. Eight. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. So <laughs> we definitely recommend this record. So it's, it's a good pop record. Don't be afraid of the pop in America. Seven and six point seven five. We're not slowly adding more. He put decimal his finger to the number. sky, like <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, I know. Like I'm in a concert. Do not be afraid of the pop in yeah, America. That's right. Yeah, we should take a picture doing that. Don't be afraid of the pop. Right on. So we have a break coming up now, sir. That's right. All right. So commercials. We love them. T- check them out. Always on the go, but the day just won't be one without your Hollywood fix. Let Golden State Media Concepts Entertainment Podcast take care of that. Jordan and Keith is Entertainment Tonight meets Access Hollywood. I'm Jordan. Guy laughing, that's Keith. (laughs) Yeah, I'm Keith. An all-inclusive look of pop culture. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Golden State Media Concepts Music Podcast with Mariano, Jordan, Jordan and Keith. Keith. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we just talked about Fits and Tantrums' new self-titled album. Um, what was it called again? Fits and Tantrums. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Jordan listened to Roll Up during our break, and he loves that song. I forgot that. I didn't realize <laughs> that that's the song you were talking about. I, I loved Roll Up. I but I'm glad that I had a hard time pausing it it's after okay. we heard that. I know, right, right? Right. But it's okay because you know what? Hey, the song Fade Back. I love that track, and and that track off the Fitz and the Tantrums record reminds me of the last album. It doesn't have a soulful feel to it. So you were right about that. So I'm glad that you listened to Roll Up because it made me listen to Fade Back again, and that's the track I was talking about that I like a lot of uh, that I do like a lot. And so. I like that one too. But speaking yeah. of this, reminds me. We have another album that we have to review on this contest. You are right. <laughs> so, speaking of Odyssey, us, <laughs> yes, Odyssey, the odd tape. Yeah, and it's O D D I S E E. So, where do we start? Um, who wants to? I didn't like it at first. I didn't like it at first. I, okay. I, I thought it was like music that I'd listened to in a bookstore at first. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that was uh-huh. the, the nicest version I could say. But as I listened to it more, it really did grow on me, and it grew mm-hmm. on me. I, I didn't like it right off the bat pretty quickly, and then I started loving it even faster. Yeah. Can it I just say? Me too. Yes. I loved it. It was so yeah. good. That's I, the I, most yes. emotion I've ever. Uh, yes. <laughs> like it, yes. Okay. Well, because I loved it because after uh, I'm sorry, after the avalanche, uh-huh. avalanches. Excuse me. And then after we did DJ Shadow, uh-huh. right? A, a while back. Yeah, the mountain will fall. Exactly. DJ Shadow. Yeah. This one was That's like why I picked this album. Oh, uh, see, uh-huh. and I was like, this is what to me like an instrumental type album should sound like. Yes. Brea was so good, and I, yeah, I made and a there's point. There's a video for that, so make sure you check it out. I will it's check a cool it out. Video too. But what do you think about this? And if anyone's listening, tell me I'm I'm totally correct. Oh here. my god, I'm just I'm sorry, but you were so excited right now. This album was good. <laughs> That's what music does to us. Though, <laughs> yeah. Right? But this album, like in particular, was like really it's good. A great album yeah it was it, it was it i was think a, this you one's can gonna write be to this record you can do all can we talk things. about exactly. brea that was yeah yeah it's a great song well, I had, I had that's, a, that's his first single i had so, a point yes. that i wanted to bring up to, Please to you mm-hmm. was brea you know like the last like 25 seconds when the beat changes the yes. beat drops yes. don't you think the rizza would do so good on that oh man oh yeah like if that yeah. Beat were to, you know like if he Definitely. if he like inspected deck and kill a b were to like jump on that for like a good two minutes that would have been so good. So Odyssey, if you get the RZA with Inspector Deck, exactly. And, and who else you said? Uh, Killer B and Killer B on your tracks from this point on. You got to give us credit for it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Or even just even <laughs> just let me be first. there. If we're like, we're like Patton Jordan Patton trolls. We're taking credit for every <laughs> little possible. Thing. Not even if you if you get one of them. If you just let me be there while you record it, I'd be so happy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, me I too. You. Me too. Well, so uh-huh. here's what I want to say about this record. So. There's other people, other producers who, okay, so they'll, they'll put out instrumentals like Dr. Dre's Chronic 2000 and was it, what, 2001? 2001. So uh, eventually the instrumental version of that album came out, but yep. only after the vocal, the vocal version yep. came out first. Jay Dilla, he'll put out an album, he'll have instrumentals, but he'll have vocals still on that same album. Uh-huh. So uh, Pete Rock did do one instrumental album called Pete Instrumentals. He did two of them now, I believe. So there are rappers and Mad Lib. So Mad Lib will do like an instrumental album, but I believe he has rappers rapping on the instrumental album. But when he raps, he goes by the moniker of Quasimoto. Okay. So where he speeds up his voice and it's a whole different ballgame with his production still. So 
what sets Odyssey apart from all those guys is Odyssey, who who's a rapper and producer. Odyssey will put out a record like The Good Fight where he's just rhyming mm-hmm. over his own beats. And then his next album will be all instrumental, period. So and we yeah we've talked about that and that yeah. was always a really interesting thing to yeah, see yes because I, with the evolution of hip-hop, they follow right. I mean mm-hmm. these two different directions he goes they they both really I think um, even if instrumentals aren't your type of music to listen to that you need lyrics this is still something that I feel like you should give it a chance this isn't really necessarily going to ruin that for well you. and and for those who think the rap is not real music or that there's no musicianship in it oh well, yeah listen to that too you yeah, naysayers well yeah, well, yeah Odyssey is going to prove oh, you man. wrong show and prove when I saw him in concert live band you know with the you know with the DJ so it was yeah it was amazing so but yeah this record the I tip I like it a lot too I think it's a great instrumental album it's very soulful very warm it feels it's qu- really easy to freestyle to uh, in yeah. a serious yeah. in a in a just a not so serious kind of way yeah. it felt like the, the and that's really cool whenever you're like as like a instrumental rap album where you have that ability where people that don't do this professionally or they just don't really do it yeah. they still feel like they can get on to it you know what right. i mean but well, did you feel like too that it was an instrumental rap album, but did you feel like it was also like an instrumental jazz album? I did. did no, that, that and that's where too? that bookstore uh, comparison yeah. came in because yeah, at first you, yeah. it did feel like this jazz fusion. Which yeah, that's what I thought. I thought like it was a, good, a little like a tribe called Questy, but in a good way. Oh yeah, but but the that's more a, that's a compliment, bro. Right? But, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. The more I listened, I love how like in in any one song the beat will change maybe two times, three times. Right. But right. they were all good. That's the difference between this one and the other. And, oh yeah. And it totally just it all just flowed to me even if it goes from like a jazzier sound to like a really classical wu-tangy beat sound uh-huh. i i just loved it i agree i love this album this is going to make me go back i'll check out i want to see odyssey go off on albums i feel like he could oh yeah i mean like i said it's good stuff i mean oh, you guys mentioned brea you guys love that song which is cool that's brea his was first great. single i think that was my like favorite said, so you know all you guys out there check out odyssey watch that video it's a cool video and, and it's funny because i didn't really pay attention to the song to after i watched the video ironically for me um but yeah i like that song i love um right side of the bed um i love uh what, i mean let's see silver lining i like a lot uh, yeah, I mean the whole album is just great. It's a, it's a cool record. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's it has a nice warm feeling. And as we were saying before too, like, and I feel like that's what DJ Shadows' The Mountain Will Fall was missing is that it, it didn't have that organ- organic soulful feel that yeah. this album has. Yeah, it felt too like overdone. I think DJ Shadows' album. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So yeah. overdone. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like uh, like food overdone. Well, no, overdone in the sense that like it sounded like every song started okay, and then instruments came on, and then more instruments came on, and then more, and then it was just too much. Okay, so the, it's oh, overdone yeah. to you. That's yeah. yeah. So tracks, so uh, yeah, so on the table. That's a great track. Track six. That's a good one. Um, and then, you know, out at night. That's another great album. I mean, another song. I mean, these are some of my favorites from this album. But yeah, it's definitely worth picking up. And like I said, it's you know you can. You, you can just sit back, maybe even read a book to this, uh, you know, drive to this. You can write to this. It just has a very comfortable, warm feeling when you listen to the record. It does. And that's the best way I can describe it. This I was a good I feel record. like I, there's a bear rug and there's a bear skin <laughs> rug and a, and a fireplace uh-huh. and just uh, a couple bottles of wine. And <laughs> well, there it is, man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's a compliment that's this kind too. of album. Yeah, but yeah, it's a good record. And, you know, amen to, me, to musicianship and seeing how hip-hop has evolved where you have – MCs who are producers who give you a great rap album, exactly. they give you a good instrumental album because because they can, and the, they the, want to. The catalog is impressive, yeah. and I mean, if we're talking what what like you feel when you you know like the, mm-hmm. the pair rug and you know what I feel when I think of this one, what? I think of like at the end of the year if we do like a top album wrap up, this is in my discussion. Yeah, I agree. So far, at least, I agree. And it's an instrumental album, yes. and, I, and I. I've it's available never, on vinyl now too. It yeah, wasn't yeah. at first, but now you can get it on vinyl if you want. Do you but think this is one of your favorite CD. albums that we've talked about right now? I mean, but this is definitely my favorite in instrumental album. Okay, that we've talked definitely about so far. Into, uh, okay. well, one out of two though. But yeah, I think this one definitely. No, one out of like three or four. But but also, like considering, I never thought an instrumental album. I never thought I'd like it this much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one's this one's up there with some of my favorite albums, like regular albums that we've done this year. And that's the and that's the whole point, and that's what I'm talking about. Exactly. That's, that's I, you know I, I agree with you. Artist. Yeah. yeah. 
No, and yeah. it did feel like that. It felt like um, it definitely didn't need lyrics, and it made me really want to go back and listen to everything else. Odyssey, because I mean, he's sh- he's just great. He really is. So he's doing his job because that's the, I mean, because when a, any artist can do that to you, yeah, they've done their job. So and that's and that's all you ever really hope for when you're a musician is to make music that inspires people, and make them feel a certain good way, and want to go back and check out everything else. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't want to you don't want to be a one off. So yeah, so cool. But yeah, so. So for those of you, who, like as Jordan said, the naysayers, rap is real, hip hop is real, the production is real. Oh, if anything, even... the production in hip hop has evolved and, and may have arguably regressed in rock and roll, ironically. Oh, yeah. So, so. I'm not even going to start that because you know I can rant forever about the soul of hip hop. Yeah. We'll save that for, for yeah, another a, time. But yeah. yeah. So we have, but yeah, but this album is, you can get the, yeah, so you can get it on DVD, I mean, excuse me, on CD or vinyl. So when it first came out, it was just di- uh, digital first, and then they eventually pressed up the vinyl copies. So yeah, but yeah, and his catalog, he yeah, he, he's doing it. But yeah, good album. I, I like it a lot too. Um, I don't know why he called it the odd tape and why there's a picture of him with a coffee cup. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good record, definitely. Right, on a scale of one to ten, ten, mm, nine, no, yeah, nine, ten, go nine. Okay. But that's but that's a good. So we're about to take a break, I believe, and we'll wrap it up. Okay. So yeah. perfect. We will be right back. Yep. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Wait, cut the music because there are three guys reviewing music and it's Captain Keith, Jordan, and Mariano with the Music Review Podcast. Oh, yeah. The return of the Mariano sexy, raspy voice. Love it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Love it. We almost didn't have it for a minute. All right. The return. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we, we we just talked about Odyssey's The Odd Tape, hip-hop instrumental, jazz type of record. And we spoke about Fits and the Tantrum self-titled album. Mariano, what's it called again? Um, you know, I forget. I think it was something like Fits and the Tantrum. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, uh, where are we, fellas? Uh, fits in the this is a, fits in the tantrums. I think that um, I think it really shows. I'm excited to see what their next album is, even if it's going to be nothing like the last two. I think I just have faith in them as musicians, and not faith in them as musicians of pop or musicians and like. They're blue, fun soul. too. They're just fun. Uh, yeah, you know, it, fun. normally they if, were really if you, fun. Huh? Like yeah. if uh, you know, like a famous rock band, you know, like if um, they're just going to make another rock album, you're really excited for that. But if they say I'm going to try hip hop now, that sounds terrifying. I think. But would you fits go in see the tantrums, live? regardless of what genre they're doing? I feel like I trust them that they're going to do something good, like wow. Beck, like Beck was. I, okay. I think whatever Beck does, I think all right, I, I'm, I'm going to give it a listen. Would you see them live? Yeah, I would definitely see I them live. I want to see them live at least I would once. Love to, I'd love to see them I would live. love to see them live. I'd love yeah. to see Odyssey live as well. I yeah. Mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see these are both live. artists oh, I that I would actively, to see Odyssey I would take Amazing. a road trip for. Yeah, yeah. You won't be disappointed with Odyssey. I'd love to see so. Odyssey get together with like J. Cole. And and ironically, there is a track that has J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar on it uh, that Odyssey did. But they haven't released it yet, according to Odyssey. Oh, so, you see? Oh, yeah. man, I'm so excited yeah. for that. But yeah, that would be a great lineup. But so. the Rizzo, imagine the Rizzo with Odyssey. I, I agree. Yeah, Wu Tang Love, man. Yeah, as much that would as be I nice. like Kendrick Lamar, I, I think that might be one of my most like. I would love that more than anything. A Rizzo and Odyssey. I think that would just work out so well. I think and so you too. were right, Brea. That last. I mean, the last part of that song. Yeah, it, that was made for. <laughs> that was made for the Rizzo. Exactly. Yeah. I think a few. I think um, <laughs> what's cool about this too, along with that, is that uh-huh. a lot of these songs you can kind of throw. Okay, I, I see that going to that person. I could see that going to that person. Like. 
all these instrumentals feel like they could be they could have been made for like a, an artist that you can have in mind. You oh, know? I can think of some artists that would snap on these instruments. That'd be so yeah. you know that'd be so good. So, so it's, that's amazing that it's an instrumental record that we like as an instrumental record, but we could also see it as a rap record with people rhyming over exactly. it. Exactly. That's what I mean so when I say powerful. that you feel kind of levels to music. You know, yeah, it works on its own. It's that good. It, it works by itself. I agree. And. It's still it's still kind of open ended enough, if that makes sense, that a rapper could still kill it. You know, I agree. I agree. So we're all three in unison. We're we're all in agreement with both these records. Oh, it's a ten. Okay, but now the but you know. So here we go. It's the island time. Oh, pff. <laughs> Survivor, <laughs> baby. What's going on? Well, let with me us? think. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I would take the odd tape. It was I'd take so odd good. tape too. I and, really would. And let me be clear. Fits in the tantrums. I liked. In fact, I liked a lot. No, of this is just a tough one to compare to because they're both really good um, artists. They're really good albums, but I yeah. think Odyssey. I think just it was fun and uh, it was something that it almost feels interactable because, like, something that's interactive. Because as I said earlier, something that um, accessible for people that don't even freestyle to just kind of go in and give it their best shot. Yeah, it, which it's almost island, like cares, um, right? it's almost almost like how Hooked on Phonics is good for like. You know, teaching people how to read. This is such. Oh, you went old these school. These are so like. <laughs> you went old school on us. All right. Remember go, the phonics? Is that it, old bro? school? Don't they do that stuff? Do you remember the phonics I don't game? Know if they do anymore. No, dude. no. Hooked on monkey phonics. <laughs> but do you remember the phonics game? The commercials. I think so. Yeah. No, that yeah, sounds Texas terrible. Instruments that was like my fourth and, grade. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But you know what I mean. It's something that's almost like if you if you're the worst freestyler, this is something like a good start because the instrumentals are so good and they're 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 so catchy. They're so easy right to just pick up. Okay. I think it would it would like if you need to like kill at something, mm -hmm. play this song and then you know try your best. I, I, hey, I agree. And in regards to the island fellas, well, we, we thought it wasn't going to happen, and it did. Uh. Trifecta. <laughs> I picked the Odyssey album, the Odd Tape on that island. Man, yeah, Fitz one. It's a great album. It's a great pop record. But that, but, but yeah, the this Odd is tape, no surprise to me. It's yeah. just, it's just you know, it has just a good warm feeling to it, man. It's just. You know, and yes, people, you know, music can evoke those type of emotions, you know, it just, you know, because it, it, it does anyway. Every time we listen to music, you know, we're, you know, we have certain emo emotions that, 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 are, that we're engaged right, in. Right, kind of come it. up, exactly. You know, and feelings. So, yeah, it's just, it, it just, it, it relaxes you. Music will either excite you, bore you, or relax you. This one does all of it, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This one, yeah. depending on how you listen, like, I was listening to this one seeing how I can be like, man, this is just some like thought provoking type relaxing music. And then I heard Brea's little beat there and I was like, Oh, okay. And then I and I went back just I went like two songs back. Yeah. And I started listening again. And I was like, man, some rappers would really you know, this is like a gold mine of, of you know Yeah. Why don't rappers why did Snoop Dogg choose these beats? Like that's what I don't get, you know? Well see and it's you know, so then we get into that conversation about mainstream hip-hop artists hooking up with underground independent artists right. and bridging that gap but what a talent though exactly you know? and that would be great and i think odyssey would probably love that so it's just you know and, and we got that with snoop off of seven days of funk with him and dame funk so you know it's it's just one of those things it's just about bridging that and, and seeing that happen because what we need in hip-hop is we need to see more mainstream right next to independent underground and making that normal for all of us exactly so where you hear kendrick lamar talib kwali and snoop dogg and talib Future kwali and drake goes off they, they should all be on the same radio dial or you know that, that that's you know in the ideal world you know i agree but you know um like i said before i i was ready not to like odyssey with the first you know track I, like uh -huh. like i said i, I it took a second, and then I really did start appreciating it, and I appreciated it a lot. Yeah, it's but a great record. I'd say as far between the two, Fits and the Tantrums felt um, more immediately likable to me. Um, I agree. It, it did. I agree. I, I think um, Odyssey had has more of a lasting effect, but I was ready not to like it for a second based off what I was first hearing. <laughs> and then uh -huh. I, 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 even the things that I was ready not to like – I went back and I started to really love it. So. Were you guys both surprised at how much you started enjoying the record after you listened to it? No. I I started uh, liking it immediately. Um, yeah, you didn't mention that. That's true. Yeah. But but Fits in the Tantrums, though, I didn't dislike it at first either. So I can't really choose one over the other in terms of which one I liked first or at first listen. We were just talking The Island. Oh, okay. The Island. The Island with a trifecta. Oh, it's yeah. all the odd tape. Odd tape. Triangle Pyramid. I started it and I loved it and it huh? finished it and I loved it. Right on. So yeah, so we definitely so in this podcast, 
we, Jordan, Mariano, Keith, we all recommend both records, definitely. Yeah. Highly recommend them both. They're both good records. They're, they're different genres. And it's just something to make you feel. They both make you feel good. Right? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Would you agree to that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, definitely pick these two up. Uh, they're, they're worth it. You like it. And Odyssey's catalog is, yeah. Odyssey's catalog is great. Fits and Attachments catalog is great. They both got good catalogs. One's longer than the other, but they're both, but they're both artists worth uh, going back for and, and backtracking and listening to. I'm going to do that. So, yeah. Odyssey definitely. has my attention. I like considering we review about four albums a week. So yes. there's already not much time to listen to the music you want to listen to. Right. I still will take time to go back for the Odyssey. Yeah, it doesn't you stop know. me, especially with some of these like like we've had in the past, like Abbott Brothers, which and a lot of others. And I'm, I'm gonna get back to that. I'm Thanks for reminding that. me. I will be buying that True Sadness record because I did enjoy it. We've had a lot of albums that I yeah. I don't know if I would have heard of if we didn't do the show. Yeah, me, and definitely. There's a lot of them that, despite us not having a lot of time to kind of like listen to our own music because we need to like have time to appreciate this, mm -hmm. that really doesn't stop me from staying up and just listening to those albums. So, I think that that really goes to show. I mean, and like the Odyssey, this was one of those this week where. I can just do exclusively listen to the song. I don't need to be doing another thing and listen to it in the background, and I'll be happy yeah. with it. And it's going to stay on my playlist. And um, that's what gives right it such on. a big, you know, glowing recommendation for me. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. Like I said, I, I'm actually when I listen to it, like I'm able to. Yeah, I, I'm writing to it actually, so it helps. So yeah, so yeah, Man, so very guess, cool. Um, I think that's how we end a show. <laughs> so, I loved it. I yeah. loved it. The yeah, show or so, the album. Both. I never expected to like an instrumental album as much as, as I did. I, I agree with you. I think okay. that's the, that's what did it for me. Is right this on. Is my, one of my favorite instrumental albums that's just out. And I'm glad I was able to choose this and you guys you know received it well. That means a lot. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. So, so and um, and just find out from Jordan apparently that the DJ Shadow the Mount will fall. Oh apparently. yeah, was getting really we, good. Yeah. Yeah. For everyone from us, but, you know. But, yeah. And that's cool. So, you know, I, I don't mind being on that island either. I could be up by myself with my with my view, especially if I feel that strongly about it. So, and, I, and I stand behind what we reviewed. I do. So, but I think it's good that he's getting good press on that record from other people. Maybe they, they appreciate it in a way that maybe the yeah, three of don't. us don't. Yeah. But like we said before, you know, we recommended his earlier albums, the Introducing, Private Press. So, hey, right on. But yeah, so, you know, and the saga continues. The saga continues. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you end a show <laughs> yeah, okay yeah but um freestyle baby i like that uh, off the we're, dome we're mm -hmm. running out of time now but um i just want to thank you guys um us you know you co-host and along with all the listeners this yes. has been another fun music podcast yeah um we i'm jordan you. i'm mariano i'm keith and uh, i guess we'll end this with how we normally do with a random fact like uh i would say dolphins can't actually smell <laughs> and um, also, you can find us on gsmcpodcast.com, uh, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud. We also are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So um, that being said, Keith, can you say that thing? <laughs> <laughs> we, so we appreciate all of you, like Jordan said, and thanks again. And we'll see you somewhere out in space. That's the one. Yeah. See you guys next week.